OneGlanceTrader.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can trade hidden divergence with the OGT price action indicator. Now for those of you who've been watching my channel recently I've been obsessed with hidden divergence. I honestly think it's one of the best trading strategies out there and um, I'll be creating a hidden divergence course over the next few weeks which again will be absolutely free and I'll post that all out on YouTube so you guys can get hold of that. So just very quickly what is hidden divergence? So hidden divergence is when there is a disagreement between the price um, and an oscillator like the MACD, the RSI, the stochastics, whatever it may be. And what I'll be concentrating on is hidden divergence. So there's two types of hidden divergence where there's bearish hidden divergence, uh, which is on the left hand side, and bullish hidden divergence, which is on the right hand side. And um, so just to give you kind of a pictorial view of what that kind of looks like before we head over to the charts, um, you can see that price, price here. So for bearish hidden divergence, uh, price is obviously in the downtrend and price is making uh, lower highs um, but your oscillator is making higher highs and you can see that there that the slope is going down and the slope is going up and the indication of the probability that uh, that price will continue to go uh, in a downward direction and that's what we're trying to look for and bullish hidden divergence is when price is making lower highs as you can see here we're looking at my cursor and the oscillator is making lower lows and again that's the indication is that price will continue to go in the upward direction now how can we well i guess the main question is is if you can spot hidden divergence and again i'll go through some examples in this video and my course will go into it in a lot more detail um, how do we know when to enter the trade and one way to do that is using my OGT price action indicator, which again, you can get uh, uh, in the description box and utilizing what, in my view, utilizing the pin bar. Again, you can do this with engulfing, uh, engulfing bars, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use pin bars um, uh, at these bottom areas. So if I take this kind of situation here and draw in this area here, if we see a pin bar, form in this section here a bearish pin bar and we can see hidden divergence that is a good signal for us to potentially take a sell trade here and on the bullish side again if we see a bullish pin bar around this area here where where again we are seeing bullish hidden divergence again with everything i talk about confluence factors so we've got hidden divergence plus a pin bar giving us a strong indication that market is going to continue in the current direction and we can trade those opportunities so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to a chart and look at a couple of examples one uh, with bearish hidden divergence and another one with bullish hidden divergence so i'll see you guys in a second so i'm on the aussie dollar chart uh, on the hourly time frame and i just wanted to show an example of how we can use uh, the pin bar element of the OGT price action indicator with hidden divergence. So just letting you know what I've got on my chart. So I've just got a moving average, which is at a hundred period, just to give us a kind of view of the trend. Um, I've also got the OGT price action indicator. Again, I'm not going to go into the details. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner so you guys can have a have a look if you want to learn more about it if you're new. But I've just set the uh, pin bar to true and I've also got the uh, filter enabled and what that filter does it's it will sh only show pin bars of how the configuration of the system knows that it's in a it's in a trend so in this case in the example I'm going to show a bearish trend and then I've got some other settings on as, as well but again you can watch the video to understand that in more detail and then i've got a, a macd indicator as well that just gives us the two lines as opposed to the standard one that you get in mt4 again i'll link to that inside the description um, and the area i want to be looking at is where you know the kind of start of this downtrend is is over here and what you'll see you see all these numbers on here and this is just indications of the of a bar that is a bearish pin bar 
So what I've done is is I've started on this um, on this trend ar around this point here, and what I've done is I've drawn a line of where there's a peak. Uh, in price and uh, the corresponding peak on the MACD and I've done that all the way through uh, up to uh, up to this stage and what I want to do is I just want to just go through this kind of trend and just see if we can spot any uh, hidden divergence that's the first point uh, that, that we're looking for here so we can see here is that price goes down and then makes a lower high and if we go down here the indicator again makes a lower high so price and the MACD are both uh, doing the same thing so there's no disagreement at the moment so as we carry on going it makes uh, another high over here and then the corresponding one on the MACD it makes this high there and what you can see straight away is that there is a uh, some hidden divergence some hidden bearish divergence so you can see here is price is making lower highs but the MACD on the corresponding points is making higher highs. So you can see that over there. Um, and then that would be a great example of when to get into that, uh, when to get into the um, trade for a sell. And as you can see, as time goes on, uh, price price decides to fall. Um, but we didn't see a pin bar here. So again, this video is all about how to trade it with pin bars. Again, this would be a valid hidden bearish hidden diversion setup, but I'm looking for additional confirmation because not every trade is going to work out. So I'm looking for a price pattern, um, a price pattern to occur to again signal that price is looking looking and wants to go down. So as we continue, um, price then starts to consolidate slightly. So you got um, uh, again, but again the next high is still lower, and then between there and there is lower. And then the next one is about the same or slightly higher, which the MACD again does the same thing. Then we go down, start to push down again, and then it makes this high over here. And we can see here the MACD again is making lower highs and the price is making lower highs, which is great. So everything's all good. Um, and then we go down and then we get another pullback um, to, this, uh, to this high over here. And again, you will see over here that this high is higher than this high so you gain lower highs on the macd and then this high and this highs are lower so you gain lower highs again another example of bearish hidden divergence so if i just show that visually so you guys can see between that definitely didn't want to get that one out um, between there and there you can see that those two highs are going down and then these two highs are going up so there you go you can see that there quite clearly that you've got higher highs on the MACD and lower highs on the price chart and while this was forming we get two and I'll zoom in slightly so you can see it you get two bearish pin bars Yep. So even though we're seeing these bearish pin bars at the moment, really you would say that just after, or maybe even this line here, you get the, uh, you kind of get the MACD going into, back into the signal line, which again, the crossover. So one thing I like to do when I trade hidden divergences is look, look for the crossover. So the crossover happened... happened around there so around this bar here and as you can see you've had two bearish pin bars there again this would be a great entry signal here and as you can see you know if you put um, if you put your stop loss just above the 100 period um, again you have a very very uh, tight tight stop loss and, and look how much potential gain that you can make there another reason why I really like this trade is because of the the price action here is uh, touching the 100 uh, 100 ma so therefore that gives us another great uh, confluence factor that the 100 ma is actually pr proving a point of resistance for price again forcing the price then to go down so i hope you've understood that example of 
how we can use the price action indicator, in this case pin bars, with hidden divergence to create more high probability trade entries and opportunities to pull money out the market. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. And now I'm going to take you across and give you an example of bullish hidden divergence. So I'm still on the Aussie dollar chart and I've just switched to a four hour uh, time frame and I spotted a really good example of bullish hidden divergence with uh, the OGT price action indicator pin bar pattern. Now again the indicators and everything's exactly the same um, but what we've done now is just the example of bullish hidden divergence. So again what I've done is I've taken this kind of uptrend over here and what I've done is again at the low points I have placed uh, a line so we can clearly see where the lows are for this trend for the price and for the MACD. So if we follow this as you can see price then goes up which it does here retraces back to the 100 um, moving average line um, and then goes back up again so we can see that this low and this low is so this low sorry is higher than this low. so we're making lower highs and the indicator the MACD is also making lower highs um, so if we break through hit a high there and then we drop back down again um, creating a lower lower high and nicely um, hitting a support area of the 100 MA and then as we see here this is the corresponding MACD line that is made there and what you hopefully can see now is we've got an example of bullish hidden divergence so price done the same thing again um, price is making lower highs and the MACD is making lower lows. So you can see here that there is divergence that has taken place and you can see here that price uh, continues in the direction of the trend. But hopefully you guys have seen just before that, what, what do we get? We get an example, and if I zoom in here, of a bullish pin bar, All right? So at this stage here, if I look, if I move this line of where the pin bar was, I probably wouldn't have taken a trade here, even though it is a nice, even though this is pretty much the bottom of that, um, of the trade. But we, we don't know that at this stage. Price could easily continue going down and pull through or push through the 100 MA. What I like to do is wait for till I get the crossover, which is at this bar over here. Um, that gives me an additional confirmation that um, when a crossover taking place we are now potentially in a bullish territory and also it is, um, it is above, the MACD is also above the zero line at this point. So we've got, we've got the uptrend, so we are trading with the trend. Uh, we have bullish hidden divergence, that's point two. We have got a bearish pin bar, we have got support at the 100 MA and we've got a MACD crossover and the MACD above uh, the zero line. We've got, I can't even count how many that was, four or five different things all going in our favour to give us a high probability that price will continue in the direction of the current trend. And as you can see here, this is a very nice move um, over here. So for those who were in that move would have picked up a lot of pips. And, you know, that's what I really wanted to kind of just share with you today because I do think hidden divergence is the way forward. Um, I'll be doing more and more videos around hidden divergence. And again, my course is coming out soon uh, on that. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys of how you can use different confirmation factors um, as well as um, as well as trying to spot hidden divergence. Hidden divergence take me a while to get used to. I'm pretty good at just reading it on the chart and that's what my course is going to focus on is really give you step-by-step -step instructions of how you can kind of you know, look look for hidden divergence. And there'll be a lot of examples, a lot of live trades uh, that I'd be doing as well so you guys can see it all in action and how these kind of hidden divergence opportunities play itself out. So really hope you guys found that useful. Like and subscribe and I shall see you guys on the next video.